Hello, 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 everyone. I am currently on my way to tour a wedding venue. So exciting. Unfortunately, Dylan is not with me because he's at work. So I'm going with my parents right now. My mom really wanted to see this venue and also my friend said that she really likes this venue and I've just, I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's not necessarily my top choice though. So that's why when Dylan said that he couldn't make it, it wasn't like a huge deal to me or like to us. But if I do really like it and I think that he should see it, then obviously we'll come back. So yeah, it kind of stinks that he's not here. <laughs> but yeah, but it's okay. This weekend, my parents and Dylan and I are all going on a little road trip. We're gonna go tour some venues up north. I don't want to say where because I don't want to give away too much. Like, I kind of like a little bit of a secret and a little bit of suspense. I'm not going to say where, but I'm pretty excited. The place that we're going to right now is obviously local. I don't want to shut it down without even saying it. And not that I want to shut it down. It's just, I don't know. We'll see. I just, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what I'm envisioning. You'll see when we get there, I'll explain. Well, I don't know. I don't even know what to expect, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know. Okay. And we're off. Dun, 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 dun. Why aren't you smiling? Today we're going wedding venue touring. Right now we are currently going to drop Rocky off at Dylan's dad's house. Are you gonna go to grandpa's house? Grandpa's house? Then we're gonna go pick up my parents and then we're headed up to the venues. <laughs> We finally made it to our first venue. It is super, super windy. It feels like the building's about to blow down. <laughs> so we saw the first venue and I don't think it's the one, but we did like it. And now we're at Chick-fil-A because we are hungry. And then we're heading up to Santa Barbara. Camarillo. Camarillo. And then Santa Barbara. Camarillo. That could be um, our, our song that we listened to on the way there. What? Camarillo by morning. Dun 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 San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, I need help to make this higher because it it's chopping my head off. No way. How'd you know how to do that? Wait, I don't need it that tall. That's so cool. How'd you learn to do that? Good morning. It's 12.15 in the afternoon and we're out of coffee. So I'll be looking like this all day. Wow. This morning I started off my morning by washing my face, putting this little dab of stuff on because i have a pimple smack dab in the center of my face i brushed my teeth i did some laundry i love doing laundry i do about 40 million loads a day it is awesome i lit a candle for some ambiance that's about as much as we've done so far Something that Dylan likes to do that's really fun for me is he leaves his dirty cups all over the place and it's like a little scavenger hunt and I have to go and find them and put them in the dishwasher. He just likes to leave me clues that he was there and that he's hydrated. Do you want coffee? Well, we have two pods. You hear that, folks? Dylan does need coffee. <laughs> He's about to go back to bed over there. <laughs> the woman across the street thinks that she owns a dumpster and right now she's vacuuming their driveway. <laughs> she yells at people, but not at us. She likes us. She has a grandbaby. Anyway, here are some updates. Still engaged. <laughs> We've made it through. <laughs> the 
the past few months. We've started planning our engagement party, finally. We've seen about 13 venues. Tomorrow we're seeing our 14th venue, Whoa. and next week we're seeing our 15th venue. <laughs> Got a lot of venues going on. Easter's coming up. Jesus is risen. It's been very rainy. Haven't gone outside in a long time because it's cold and wet. Dylan made some friends in our neighborhood. He's very, very friendly. And I just sit there while they talk. I'm switching management, Ooh. which is exciting. Dylan doesn't even know because he doesn't ask me questions. <laughs> Finally, scheduled a consultation for a boob job. What? So I'll be doing that next Thursday at 12 p.m. <laughs> Dylan doesn't know that either. Anyway, I'm gonna make some food now. Sometimes Dylan, I feel like he's just a man who showed up <laughs> in my house. I almost fell down the stairs yesterday. Did I tell you that? I was vacuuming the stairs and I was going backwards, which was a bad idea to begin with, but I almost fell down the stairs. And I had this candle going and all I could think about was, what if I fall, break my back, and then I can't get up and then the candle explodes and lights the house on fire and I'm just laying there waiting for you to get home and find me. So that's what I do during the day. Fashion show. <laughs> this little piggy went to the market. What? Okay, Dylan has to talk, but he does not want to be on camera, so one sec. I should clarify, my boob job consultation was a lie and I made that up. I just wanted to get a reaction out of Dylan and that's what he wanted to ask me. <laughs> so I'm not getting a boob job. No one get too excited about it. <laughs> Dylan, talking to you. I'm just cracking myself up this morning. I just want to show my friends how big this broccoli is. Now we'll be doing the Q&A. What is your five-year plan? Are you actually asking me? <laughs> no. I'll tell you my five-year plan. <laughs> Dylan made the tripod so tall. I hope you all enjoyed the intermission. Now I'm doing the dishes. Dylan and I had broccoli, couscous, and sausage for lunch. The word sausage kind of makes me uncomfortable. I don't know why. I actually like sausage more than bacon. I mean, I didn't make a breakfast sausage for lunch, but you get what I mean. One time I went to the movies to see Sausage Party and I took an edible and I do not do drugs, okay? So I am not a weed doer and I took an edible. All I remember is the beginning of the movie and then all of a sudden I just remember sausages that were like dancing. The rest is a blur. Say no to drugs. It was terrifying, it was truly terrifying. That was many moons ago, by the way. That was not recent. I was probably like 18 or 19. Young and stupid. Tonight Dylan and I are going to trivia night with my parents. We're going to the country club. Welcome to my get ready with me for trivia. I look sunburned, but I'm not. I actually don't even look this bad in person. I don't know why I look like red. Larry the Lobster. First, I'm gonna start by putting on my Aquaphor. But really, that actually might have made it a little better. I don't know. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeshadow. I always take my ring off when I do my makeup so I don't get goop in my ring. Tomorrow, we're going to see another wedding venue. I really hope that we like tomorrow's venue because as much as I've been enjoying looking at venues, I am ready to like start planning the actual wedding. Right now it just feels like I'm like a venue scout or something. I'm still not really over the fact that I'm like getting married. Do you see my pimple? I cannot believe I'm getting married, but at the same time I feel like so ready and excited to be married to Dylan. It's very crazy to me, like the place that I was at in my life when I met Dylan, when Dylan and I met, I literally didn't support marriage. <laughs> I was so against relationships and against everything like that. <laughs> I just had a very negative attitude towards relationships. And then I met Dylan and I was like, shoot. And my life has been better ever since. This Say Highlighter, I'm giving 
it away in my giveaway. It's my favorite highlighter ever. It just like gives like a natural, dewy, like wet look. I don't know. Do you guys think that TikTok will actually get banned? The other day I was thinking about what if all of the famous people, like if social media stopped being a thing and then all of the famous people had to just be like normal people and work like in the normal corporate world or like at a restaurant. <laughs> Did you guys know that I used to work at a restaurant? I worked at a restaurant that was at a hotel. Now it's a Waldorf Astoria, but at the time it was Monarch Beach Resort in Dana Point. And I was a hostess and then I started serving. And on my first day of serving, I spilt a whole tray of water onto the guests. And then I quit like the next day. But I would have had to quit anyway because I was going to Europe and my boss wasn't gonna give me the time off. Her name was Michaela and she was not very nice. Hello guys. I was just outside tanning. It is such a pretty day. I'll go outside in a second and show you, but if you live in Southern California, it has been so rainy and cold and just like not very California. And so this week it's finally, Rocky's chewing like a dead animal or something. Yeah, so California has not really been giving California, but this week it finally started heating up. So I'm so happy and it just feels good to finally be able to go outside and tan and feel the sunshine. This weekend and past week, we've been watching Louie, my mom and dad's dog, who is also Rocky's brother, because my parents went to South Carolina to or maybe North Carolina. I don't know my Norths and Souths, but yeah. My parents went to North Carolina, South Carolina to visit my brother. He goes to school at Clemson and it was his birthday on April 6th. So happy birthday, Jackson. So yeah, anyway, we're staying at their house and watching Louie. Do you see Rocky on the table? He was just in a timeout for like an hour for getting on the table and now he's on the table again. Excuse me for a moment. You're gonna be in big trouble. Get down. Anyway, I need to start being more consistent on YouTube because I was kind of trying to put my personality and like do like talking videos on TikTok, but just the engagement that I have been getting trying to do that hasn't been very good. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to post maybe once a week. That's gonna be my goal. I don't know if I've already updated you, but Dylan and I finally picked our venue. I think I might have already told you this, but I don't wanna tell you where it is, but it's very pretty and we're very excited. And we saw 14 venues and finally found it. So that has just been consuming my mind every day. I like work on our like spreadsheet and like just try to get some stuff together. I will say that the wedding is not gonna be till 2024, so we have time to plan, but it's just exciting. Happy Good Friday. I hope you guys have all been having a great start to April. Yeah. Dylan and I are going to stagecoach in a couple weeks. Is anyone going to stagecoach? I know a lot of people are going to Coachella. I don't know, I've never been to Coachella and I don't know if I could brave it. I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. I think I would have fun at Coachella maybe, but I think I would be very over overstimulated. I think I could handle like maybe one day and then after that I think I would be tired. I guess before I finish this video, I could show you guys how pretty it is outside. It could be like a little show and tell. That's where I was laying, that's where Dylan was laying. Not a cloud in the sky. It's a gorgeous, beautiful day. All right, my, my lovelies. Catch you on the flip side. Thank you for watching.